Hey guys. So I wanted to do a real quick video on um, like a Seb Sebastian's possible location. We've kind of matched up the reading um, with the astrology chart, and I will I will go into that with you for just a second. We only map the Saturn line because it rules bodies, um, and so we wouldn't be using the moon line per se, but the moon line, I guess, does represent bridges. And I'm learning this all from my astrologist friends. I'm just reiterating what she told me. I am no way any type of uh, professional yet in that field. So I wanted to kind of go over the new cards that I pulled that tend to talk about this area as well. and um, I mean, it does fit. It does, so we have the astrology, we have the cards, and we have um, my reading kind of pointing to this area. So it wouldn't be the, where the exact line goes, but it would be the area of the line. Remember, roundabout, nothing is exact. So I really think that the Cumberland River needs to be checked over by the dam. Um, so because he does with all this Piscean energy, there is water. But literally, this, this, the, these. Um, cards kind of validate and I'm gonna this is gonna be really quick because I have a reading in just like 10 minutes but I, I wanted to get this out in case anybody is in the area and wants to go look or anything like that um all right oops let's do and for those of you asking me to do Madeline Soto I did do a two-hour reading last night but it's all over the place so I wanted to do an auto rate to kind of get more and then I'll combine the readings and do a little bit of editing and I'll get it out. Okay. We did the cards and everything. It's just, it's crazy. It's a crazy case. There's a lot of confusion. Her chart's crazy. Like it's nuts. But interesting enough, in Madeline's case, where she was found by Hickory, and all of these cases seem to be interconnecting and interlocking. And there seems to be some interconnecting from Elijah as well um, with his auto rate. And then now what I'm getting with the cards, because there is an area over there that is piles of sand. Um so her, she was found on Old Hickory Road. There's a Hickory Bridge. There's a Hickory, Hickory area here. Um, there's a Hickory Lake and, and another Hickory area. So I find that kind of interesting. Um, so I'm just going to go over the cards real quick, and then I'll show you guys on a map, and then I'll put pictures at the end. So we have the portal. So portal, I say, is like lost. Like he's not being seen right now. It's almost like he went through a portal. Like he literally just vanished. That's how I'm taking that card. Then we have the under underwater card that came up right away. Second card. We have underground. So if you're underwater, you're kind of, you know, there's pipes and stuff underground as well or near, near a water source. Um, so it could be taken as like he's under the water right now as well. And we have the river, the river card. Um, so mountain, if there's no mountains, even in the, the background or it's not hilly or anything, take that as like a high, a high source. That's how I'm kind of taking it. Um, I'm kind of learning these cards a little bit more, but it is all how we perceive them. So there are, they are just an extension to me and they tend to be really pretty freaking accurate. So we have the desert card. So it doesn't necessarily mean the desert, but sand. So I was talking about the piles of sand that are at this place. So that could be why. And I also saw that in Elijah and water supply. There is a water supply there, place there as well. Um, outside, hidden. <clears throat> the fire could just be nearby. I get this a lot, so I don't. I don't know. Fire does roll Aries, but I don't know if that has anything to do with the chart. I just kind of got that idea. Again, I'm still learning all that astrology stuff, but um, we have power supply. There's literally a power supply place right there. And hollow earth. So hollow earth can be. Um, I don't know if there's caves in this area, but also like underground, basically, from what I understood, hollow earth to be. So we have um, a random area. Again, underground or, you know, if they're in water, they're basically, you can't see them. Uh, we have in nature. It's interesting. There's a road right there on that card. Proper burial, depending on how kind of, kind of burial you look at. Above ground. So. He might, he's basically not buried, but in the water. Um, stored. So I don't know if he was stored or if it changes the timeline. And these two come in together, dumped in water. I find that interesting because it really does validate my reading. And again, this is for entertainment purposes only. And this is all alleged, okay? So then I'm just going to pull up um, this the, the share screen real quick. You guys will not believe what I just did. I just explained everything and it was on pause. So now I have to go back and re-explain all this again. So, <laughs> um, 
So if we look at this, all right, so this is, um, so right here we have, my stomach, sorry, right here we have his house, right? This is a Saturn line, so Saturn line rules bodies. The moon line, um, the, there is a house, and like, I don't know what, everything. I can't explain it to you like I'm a professional astrologer. I'm learning this from an astrologer, so I'm just kind of reiterating what she told me. It does rule bridges. So um, this place is interesting because it, you have the river. It's a smaller river right here, and it opens up into a bigger area right here. Um, also, what I find interesting is... Oops. Go that way. So... Um, what I find interesting is this seems like it's interconnecting Elijah, um, which does happen. And it might even be interconnecting Lakings due to timing or actually all that came in Rachel. Cause remember we got green at some point and then we got the headstones in Rachel. I think it was Rachel or maybe it was Audrey. It was one of those. And it led us to Elijah's, which, you know, he went missing by a graveyard. Um, I, I'm pretty sure that might've, it's, it's either Kim and Lincoln or Rachel's. I don't know. They all start to run together at some point. But um, so this is his Saturn line that rules bodies. That's where we feel. Plus, it matches the cards I just gave you guys. And it matches the reading. It's a smaller river that um, opens into a larger area. Oh, man. Come on. The, the first time I did this was so much better. <laughs> So we have when we when we zoom in here. It could be also that the line was leading me into the city. So what's interesting here is we have the Hickory Point and there's also Hickory Lake over here. Hickory was a, was what um Madeline was found off of. So I find that kind of interesting. Then we have the green, we have this green hill here that's interesting. And then look, we have the little river and it flows into like a bigger river, which is what I was seeing. So that kind of was like, okay, that's kind of validating to me. But then if we scroll in and remember Saturn line, it could be like, it's not exactly like this area. It's like around it. So, you know, we have, um, we have that, like what I saw in Elijah with the, piles of sand and the crane that's all right there in this area i find that interesting um i'm sure there's electric towers somewhere um i thought this was it but i think that might be a parking lot but so this was interesting to me um and i did get some stuff of him and elijah i feel um with all that piscean energy we are probably looking at water from what I understand. And look, there's a beach there too. Um, so even things like cases will interconnect. And I just find it interesting about Madeline. And now this is having a hickory. And I've gotten hickory way back in the day in many of my auto rights. And it also came in like hickory dickory dock. But I, I also have hickory, I think, on my pool list. So um, that's, that's kind of interesting to me. There is a crane over here as well. Um, and so... See, let me show you the bridge real quick. I got to get to this reading. I'm late. I like thought I was recording and I wasn't. So the bridge, there's a bridge right here, which again, the moon, I guess in a certain house can rule a bridge. So there's a bridge right there. Um, I don't know if this makes sense, but it does match the cards. It's like also a kind of like an industrial area. It seems, huh. I don't know. This is the first time I looked at the map. But I just found it interesting that this river goes, you know, under a bridge or whatever. And then there's, I don't know if there's a bridge on the other side, but this is directly where his, his Saturn line goes. So we have astrology putting us here where the body would go. We have the cars and we have my reading that's all matching. This green hill is like interesting because of the past reading. So this is, I guess I don't need to share pictures with you now because this is where I'm looking at, all right? Um, I was trying to see if my balls were going off. So I want to put that out there. I wanted to put his um, area out because, you know, it's super 
and it's important in case anybody's in the area or whatnot or wants to put in a tip or what. Um, I I don't do tips because I never want to leave anybody a wild goose chase. I literally just match things up. We have the cards matching. We have my um, my reading matching, and we have the astrology, at least the Saturn line, which is rules the body putting him in that area. So that's my opinion. Um, this is my entertainment purposes only, and again alleged and again it would be around that area like that's not like an exact point but i find the connection of the hickory interesting as well and the green and all of that um and some of the interconnects from elijah the things i got in elijah are there plus it seems like him and elijah if they're both in water they would interconnect if that makes sense like if people are in similar areas if the cases are similar if the timing is similar they'll all interconnect that's why i'm getting all these interconnects of all these cases that's why i tell you guys please learn how interconnects work because for some reason it works with me like that and it tends to work with me like that now due to the astrology of the way that all these cases are interconnecting and i will pick up a case before um they go missing um unfortunately it, so it makes it a little complicated and sometimes i don't know which is which so we just have to take what fits an area and like leave the rest and hope that it fits another area but if they're both in water that could be why they're interconnecting the timing and everything um and again with this Pis pisces energy it's all about water right now so we might have a lot of bodies pop up out of the water um etc so that's what i've been told again by my astrology friend i am no way any type of astrologer or professional in that field yet but i am just reverbing what uh she has told me and sharing that with you guys so again thank you for liking subscribing and sharing i hope this was helpful and i hope you guys um understand like what i'm saying <laughs> and yeah this is just a possible location for sebastian i think it should definitely be looked into thank you